What's down there? Oh my god, it's already. Oh, ah! Ooh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> it stinks! <laughs> oh I fell! God. Put that fan on! It's <laughs> so bad. Happy early anniversary. Oh, I'll hold I, on to you for a while. I'll stick it out sometime. Okay, sounds good. <gasps> Oh, it's worse up here. It's venting and all up into here. We put an A at the end of everything. Like instead of mashed potatoes, we say mashed potatoes. Not in a southern accent. Where were you born again? <laughs> you could be helping me, but you're not. Oh my goodness, hon, our coffee. I heard it, what was it? Check your slides. We got neighbors. All right. I guess I have been showering. And I've been showering, so we're good. Okay, cool. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it's the smoke, isn't it? I tried to make the fire nice, but the smoke just... <sighs> Are you making French press coffee? This is pretty snazzy here. This looks like a science experiment. You're gonna have to show me how this is done. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Good. Well, that's good. I mean, it is 10 o'clock, but I took a little day off. That's okay. Except this guy. He just sleeps all day, every day. Don't you sleep all day, every day? There was no response. No response ever. This is pretty cool, babe. I like your French press coffee. And look at that. It looks... Oh. Mm. Well, it was vacuum sealed. Smell. Well, let me mm. get a whiff. Oh, definitely one of my favorite smells in the morning. What are your favorite smells out there? What are some of the things that you just like, you just live to smell? Oh my goodness, hon, our coffee. Oh, babe, that was our coffee. Listen, I think the coffee's supposed to go in here. I mean, I could wash these beans off. We could do a nice soap rub with them. Do you think we could like scrape the ones off the top here? No, it's yeah. so wet, we can't. Oh. Ugh. I hate when money gets thrown down the drain, literally. Like, those <laughs> are expensive. It is literally thrown down the drain right now. Ugh. She's going for it again. I want to commend your willingness to move on from the situation and continue making coffee. That is a true barista. So how do you know how many beans to fill in there? Um, the guide kind of says it, and then you got to do some trial runs to know what's your style. Like how strong you like it. Yeah. If you guys do like coffee, the uh, black coffee drinker, you have to have the cream in the coffee, or are you on team no coffee? Don't agitate it too much. I like saying the word agitate. It just sounds like I know what I'm doing. Did you read the directions that it said that? No. And we're going to give it five minutes. And that just lets all the... Let's it do its job. The juices really seal in there. Get that nice aroma flavor going. People are gonna think this is how to make a coffee. I want a Vente Espresso Hold the Dawn. Dawn dish soap. Oh, I'm stepping on coffee beans over here. Let me do my favorite part, cause I love this. Uh, on. Wait till it lights up, that's good. Cool, and then you grab the little doohickey out of here. This is the accessory tool. Babe, can you hit the button for me? Uh... And that is what I live for. That is just, it just made my day. <laughs> that was it. Good old bag of vacuum sealed coffee beans. What's the game plan today? Uh, let me think. Think or just sing? Let's go paddle boarding. Because coffee's done, I'm We ready. did the springs yesterday and I feel like we did all you need to do with the springs. They said there's something called Wakiwa Island. Oh, but they said it's called Wakaiba. No, Wakaiwa. The V silent. Help us out here. I heard somebody say Wakaiba. I'm not saying you're wrong, dear, but I'm saying. He will normally never whip the camera out unless we've had our coffee. That's so you right. guys are getting like the real deal. Oh, husband for sale. Husband's not for sale. Oh, my Hey Buddy cup. You just have those coffee cups you can't, like, cut your ties with. Well, that's perfect right there. You're welcome. I don't need creamer. Who introduced you to black coffee? 
that doesn't drink it any longer. My wife that is like, nah, I'm not gonna drink that. Nah, I'm gonna actually enjoy my coffee and not mm. try to make a point. It's perfectly hot. I love that where it burns your face off. That's the best temperature. I think the gopher tortoise is out. You and your gopher tortoise. I'll go check. Oh my gosh, he is out, babe. Do you see him right there? Oh, see how quick they are? Turtles are so smart and they're super, super fast. I didn't realize how fast they were. Nice little setup you got here. So a shot of fire. Oh my goodness. Want, 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 want. How about appreciating what you have, your lovely, hardworking husband? Hello. You're fake calling. Cheers. Psych, we don't cheers coffee mugs in this family. That's just weird. Don't be weird. Oh my goodness. Come on. I just said how easy it was to blow up paddle boards and now I got sweat dripping off my face. <laughs> you know what else is not helping this situation? <laughs> is we moved campsites. We used to be over in site 18. Now we're in site one. We took a little evening stroll the other night. Wow. And there was a dead possum. So every time we're out by the fire, we get a little whiff once in a while of dead possum. I'm always talking about things. I'm like, hey, this just happened, this just happened. I just talked about a dead possum. You guys are like, sure, Hanks. Whatever you say, Carl. There's a bunch of fur over there. Do you see it? It smells so bad. <laughs> Talk about not a good scenario when you're blowing up paddle boards and you keep getting whiffs of dead possums. <laughs> so yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. Another word of the wise. Don't wait till it's the middle of the day to start blowing up paddle boards. Not smart, the campground's empty. You know why the campground's empty? It's because people are smart. They wake up early, they blow up their paddle boards and kayaks early, and then they get on the river. Not the Hanks. What is wrong with us, hon? Hon? It's so hot outside right now. Anyways, your paddle board's blown up. Oh, thank you. I'll take it. I do want to go paddle boarding and swimming. You know, I changed my mind. You changed your mind? You're funny, honey. That's, man, our marriage is spicy. <laughs> I changed my mind. Are you crazy? We're going paddle boarding. I'm cold in here. You're cold in here. So we made it out here. It's finally nobody's around. Wow, did we pick an interesting day to come out? Maybe the middle of a Saturday wasn't the best idea. Okay. So Nay was paddling and oh my goodness, she hit a log with her fin and she completely head over heels into the water. We just got done seeing a baby alligator too. So she was like paddleboard going one way, Nay Nay going the other. And she was like, it's beautiful out here though. If you guys do come, recommend coming early or late. Like always, you'll avoid the crowds. It'll be a lot more peaceful. We saw river otters. We saw some alligators. And turtles. And turtles. If you guys have been to Florida or been on any of the springs in Florida, throw us down in the comments below what are some of your favorite springs to visit because we want to know the inside eats. The best part about these stand-up paddle boards is you don't have to be standing on them. Let me just say, if you want to rent paddle boards at this state park. Yeah. Wakiwa, Wakaiwa State Park, whatever it's called. Yeah. It's $75 a day. Definitely made our money's worth with these. Oh right? my goodness, no doubt. We've been paddling through Moab. Oh, it's just spectacular. If you haven't seen the Moab video, super cool. Check it out. I'll throw it up there. Gator. Where? Just chilling on that line. You're really oh, really he's small. super, super tiny. I bet mom and dad are around here. Yeah, you probably, yeah. I'm peacing out. I don't want to say hi to mom and dad. Time to eat. You're crazy. So we have Dexter on uh, feeding timer now because before he 
We're just constantly meow and bang at us and it just like got to the point where we were not keeping close enough track and we were overfeeding him. So we went ahead and tried Pavlog's theory on him. Is that is that the right theory, babe, Pavlog? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. He doesn't really bother us. You can tell he gets a little antsy. He knows the time's coming. But as soon as that alarm goes off, he is like wrecking havoc across the trailer. Renee needs to stick me on a feeding timer because let me tell you, I didn't like. <laughs> Only the best for you, huh? You would tell everyone what your, your specialty is? Gravy lovers. You want to feed him? Okay. The power's in your hands. Hey. The power is in your hands. I could hear it. Okay. Also, also, a lot of people say you cannot train a cat. That's not possible. Cats have their own temperaments. Yes, I feel like that's probably been true for most cats, even owning cats most of my life and dogs. Cats are not very trainable, but we got Dexter trained fairly well. Let's see it. Sit. Cheeks to the floor. He always Good. like does halfway down. Kiss. Good. Oh, Sometimes he'll cheat his way out of it and he'll kind of do one of these, like. <laughs> and then I'm like, dude. And then he's been getting in the habit of like, re reaching up for a kiss and right before you're about to kiss him, he's like. I'm like, no, 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 no. So, kiss. full kiss, cheeks to the floor. That's it. Oh, also, look at what Renee's been working on. She's been doing the green scallion trick here, which is really cool. Yeah. I mean, I know scallions are super cheap, but. It's still kind of cool. So yeah. this is the new part from here on up on all of them. You know, this is amusing for us and we're not children. So I would think if you have children, that would be cool to... I think we are children, babe. We're like kids in the yeah. head. Yeah, we are. So what's for Den Den? Okay. That's for Den... No, dinner. What are we eating? Please oh, don't kill me. squirrel. Dude. He's on my bikini. This is why you don't feed animals in state parks. They just... They don't learn. Fancy. We're doing steaks. Yeah. What types? New York strip steaks, and we're gonna have a Caesar salad and some mashed potatoes. You want some margaritas? No. We're probably gonna hold off and drink it for a little bit longer. We got a little too excited about last night. Yeah. No. All, reading all those comments from everyone is you guys, so fun, and uh, it gets us all hyped, and then we were like, let's have a drink. Let's have a drink, and, and let's have another. Let's have another drink. We're not blaming it on you guys, but. <laughs> Well, we are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys just get us all hyped up and excited. And if you guys are having any camping trips coming up, any vacations or big getaways planned, throw it in the comments below because we want to hear about it. Where are you guys going this summer or where are you going next week or this weekend? Ooh, tell us. Give us the deets. Well, they were about to, but then you're all creepy. Ooh. So what are, you, what are we marinating the steak with tonight? Because I am starving. I just did some red wine, some olive oils. Ooh, that looks good. Hey, by the time oh. you guys see this, we have already been married three years. Oh, yeah. Our anniversary is day after tomorrow? Yeah. Bam. We consider the Hanks pretty serious. Pretty serious. Going Big. on three years. I did see something I wanted to mention. Open up that cabinet again and show everyone your new toys. The Corel dishes. I think you heard me mention that we got them. They are amazing. Corel. Corel. Sounds like a curse word. What okay. corral? Yes. So I found a just dish set that has six bowls, six big plates, and then you get the like small appetizer plates because this is great when you just want to eat a quick hot dog. Corel is uh, chip resistant. It's microwave, dishwasher safe, all that. Not that it matters about the dishwashing thing for us. Carl washing safe. So I found actually heard about this because someone had a Facebook post on some RV Facebook group that asked, you know, what kind of dish should I get for yeah. the RV? And everyone's like, Corel, 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 Corel. So you went with Corel. So I went with Corel. You know, I, after so many years, I still forget to open the cabinet slowly after we've been driving all day. I'm like, oh, I need some water. Sure. A plate and a bowl fell to the ground. Didn't it break. No chips, nothing. I'll put this link in the description, but if you are just cruising around our Amazon page, you will find them. So how long to the steaks? You can't rush the process. You gotta be at one with the grill. Are you getting hungry? You want to eat outside? Now? Yeah. That would be fun. Like, it's like we're in the state park campground. Let's eat outside. Yeah. Should hey, we... come on over for dinner, guys. Got the steaks on the grill. We got potatoes on. I wasn't going to drink, but should we be having, like, wine with the steak, or? It just doesn't learn a lesson. <laughs>
Oh, we got teardrops tonight. I love it. So whoever out there is rocking teardrop campers, man, you guys are awesome. Just saying teardrop makes me want to cry though. Cry because I don't have one. Smell what? <sighs> what is that thing? Whoa. Whoa, put that away, lady. It's time to snake out the drain. I don't know what's gonna be in there. This what? is a surprise for all of us. Wait, why? Are you, what makes you wanna do this right now? You can't put Drano down your RV pipings. Oh, yeah, I guess they frown upon that, right? Yeah. Okay. So that, no matter how much we try to prevent my huge, thick, clumpy hair from going down the drain, it happens. Well, I'm glad you said it and not me. Yeah, I you get were gonna heat. say it. We're gonna get in there and okay. see what happens. Whoa! Your son's freaking out. Okay, hey, you want to do the snake? Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. Alright, do you even know what you're doing? Do you know where you're gonna put that thing? Step one, establish your orientation. Oh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. Okay, right, good. Oh my god, this is gonna go badly. What's down there? I went in an inch and this is, ooh, this is gonna be good. Oh. oh. <coughs> it stinks. <laughs> oh I fell. God. It was too much. We need like N95 masks. Smell? You think that's it's, what's causing yes, the smell? Yes, it smells horrible. Oh. I always thought it was like the hot water heater, like the hot water coming out of the tank, maybe from like buildup of sediment. Oh, but it's probably the hot water but, running over the nasty stuff. Huh? Yeah. And, like, cause the sink, when you run the hot water in the sink, in the kitchen doesn't smell. Right, so. right. So nervous for all those people that are just sick like we are and want to see all the... Oh! Oh, oh my oh, gosh! Oh, ew! <laughs> what is that? No way! <laughs> Please. Babe, this is horrid. Oh, it's worse up here. It's venting it all up into here. How many people in the comments are gonna say, you guys are insane. You should be cleaning out that drain at least once a week. Let's talk out here. Good luck, honey. If you guys also have been smelling something weird coming out of your bathroom or the shower, give this a trial run. See if this maybe helps, cause <clears throat> Woo, horrid. Wait, what are you gonna do? Since we don't have like a scrubber thing to yeah. throw in there, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get uh, <clears throat> you know, one of the toothbrushes that like the dentist gave us that is really small. Yeah. And some Dawn just soap and just scrub inside there, like the walls. Wait, aren't they nice toothbrushes? Well, they're... I aren't just, they Oral-B? I need a toothbrush. It doesn't... I actually should get the best there is out it's there. It's Oral-B. If it has the tongue scrubber, that's off limits. How you doing in there? I'm gonna have clean feet for now. And then we're, go we're moving on to the no. bathroom sink. No, we're okay. not. I think all the women who have hair like mine can relate. It's just, it gets everywhere. Can all the husbands out there and all the guys relate to me? I'm gonna use your toothbrush to clean it out when I'm done here. Keep up that oh, attitude. Oh, I should save that toothbrush. Are you uh, giving yourself a pep talk through the mirror? Listen, don't worry about it. This is between me and me. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm not doing it. This is your turn. When you asked me what do you want to do today, the, this... <laughs> Honey, we're supposed to take a day off. You see what your dad's doing and what you're not helping with? Okay, I think we're good. Who's going to want to come visit us after this? I don't know. Nobody. They're crazy. Nobody's going to want to get a tour of this anymore. <coughs> if you do want a nice tour of our lovely Home on Wheels, and actually what we do live in and not what we go through, check out this video up here. We actually did a really lovely tour and it didn't smell nearly as bad. Anybody out there who's watching, please comment below if you are that type of person that loves to watch like pimples being popped and like dirty jobs being done. If you're like one of those weird people, you know? You know why I like these? It's because when you spray them, you can like let them build up into like little to do that all the time. That's My dad's it. like, go clean the bathroom. Like he's like telling me, like giving me a chore. I'm like, <laughs> I get to use spraying bubbles. Best feeling ever. And they smell so good. It's just the easy way to get husbands to do all the cleaning. What is up you beautiful people? Thank you for joining us on this beautiful evening out here. Let's just kick this off. We are super pumped. 
we're gonna do our very first giveaway. Woo! That's our so first exciting. Giveaway. So we had the company Reese reach out to us and they asked us if we wanted to try one of their products. And we thought, you know what? Why not get a product that yeah. everybody could use and let's just do a giveaway with it. I love that because listen, we have enough stuff already. We're yeah. always trying to downsize. We don't want more, more stuff, but we know that you guys could use some stuff. And to get out here and have some extra things to carry some of those camping supplies or RV supplies, whatever you want, what are we giving away that's gonna help that? Okay, so Reese was so generous enough to give us a prod to give away to you guys, and it is a hitch mount cargo basket. Goes on the back of your vehicle or your RV, and it can hold up to like 500 pounds worth of capacity. Shut up. Are you serious? I will not. Did you just read that off the brochure or what? No. <laughs> I think you did. Get pumped, guys. This is exciting. Upcoming camping season, we want you out here on the road with us. We want to help in any way we can to get you out here camping, chilling, living life to the fullest. This, we love you guys. This item is going to be perfect for like carrying all your stuff with you. Oh, sweet. Bringing your bikes along for an adventure, bringing your coolers along for camping. Now I'm wondering why we didn't just take I'm it. actually really glad that we're not getting this. If you could hitch another camper onto this camper, you would. Let's try it. Let's not. Guys, not only are we giving away one basket, but we're giving away two. Are you being serious? You're being for real? You Reese, never told me this. Reese is giving us two of them to give away. So there are two potential winners out there. This is so exciting. This is like the sweepstakes. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so two baskets, love it. Two okay, baskets, not just one, but two. Two baskets, two winners, one giveaway. Okay, yeah, that's sweet. Like a movie. Love that. Really quick, guys, if you uh, are wondering, there's a whole bunch of rules down below, but it is free to enter this giveaway. Oh, one more thing. Just so you know, the last day to enter the giveaway is June 3rd. Yes. Yes. This giveaway is going to run from May 27th until June 3rd, and then we will announce the winners shortly after that through that's social media. Definitely check out the link below. We'll throw all the details down there. The deets, remember, deets. For you guys that have signed up for our St. Augustine meetup, we will be seeing you shortly. And if you're not sure what I'm talking oh, about yeah. and you wanna sign up for the St. Augustine meetup, that will also be in the description below. That's awesome, I love that. Hopefully not Smoke. fires in our face. So until next week, guys, stay safe out there. We love you all. Happily ever Hanks, Nene and Carl checking out. Bye. Bye guys.